Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cartman Jordan career map. Oh my god, what have I done? Anyway, here she is everyone. Yes, it's Carmen Jordan. Hello Carmen. Whee! Oh, she says hello. Hi Carmen. Now what have you been up to since the last time we met? Oh no, Carmen. You've been working out again? Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think the boys want to see that, do you really, boys? Do you really want to see Carmi working out? Of course they do. Run the clip. Oh my goodness gracious, buddy good gold. That's it. Get the camera right, Carmi. Get the camera right. That's it, yes. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, work it, Carmi. Work it. Oh yes, get those triceps in tip-top condition. Get them in there. Go on, Carmi. Go on. Oh yes, go on. Uh, those weights are a little bit small, Carmi, aren't they? A little bit small, Carmi. A little bigger ones. No, no. Okay then. Look at this. Look at this, everyone. Look, she's pretending she's driving a car. Look, it's unbelievable. Oh god, that was fantastic. Yes, of course, I like to watch ladies work out as well, Carmi. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness gracious, bloody good god. Oh my god, yes, you, you better keep doing that, love. You certainly need some support in the old stomach area for those. Oh my god, what the hell has she got there? Are they like two balloons stuffed down her shirt? Oh my goodness, it's unbelievable. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god, there's that knobhead Chris again. Okay, I've got something for you. The new parts have been fitted to the car. The simulation numbers are good, so look forward to your feedback. Check out the details. <laughs> development parts, development parts, all out of our fucking bullshit anyway. Uh, yeah, let's move on, shall we, to qualifying. We're at the gorgeous Japanese Grand Prix, which I do believe is home to the Japanese. Shock. Horror. And who knew? Anyway, we cross the line, and as you can see at the moment, Carmen Jordan is in fifth position on the yellow tyre. Anyway, a little bit later into the session, as you can see, Carmen Jordan is now down to 15th position. So she is in a little bit of trouble here. Can she improve on 15th as we cross the line? And the answer to that is... Uh, no, she bloody well can't. Oh my goodness. So let's have a look at the final scores on the doors. Valtteri Bottas got pole position, Lewis Hamilton in second, Kimi Raikkonen was in third place, Esteban Ocon, the teammate, was in 11th position, and Carmen Jordan finished in... Oh my goodness gracious, bloody good god! 19th place, yes, that's second from last. Yes, second from last. Okay then, let's do this. So once again, it's time for the five lights to go out on the Carmen Jordan clear mode. And we say go, go, go. It's away we go from 19th place for Carmen Jordan. But straight away, she gets past Pascal Verlein and Stoffel Van Doon and Carlos Sides as well. We've got Jolie and Palmer. Oh my goodness. Jolly off Palmer's ahead of us in 14th place. But Carmen manages to sneak down the inside of him as well. She's already up into 14th place. It's another fantastic performance once again from the first lady of motorsport as she tries to get past Daniel Kvyat and Kevin Magnussen of course is in the hut oh my goodness so just looking at the outside camera view as you can see Carmen's fighting like crazy to try to get past two cars ahead but they are battling with each other and I don't even think they know that Carmen Jordan exists well, they must be crazy if they think that. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, Carmen Jordan does a dive down the inside of the Toro Rosso of Daniel Kvyat. And she's now at the 13th position. Unlucky for some, but it's not going to be unlucky for Carmen Jordan because she does another dive. And oh my goodness, two cars. Maybe even three cars now as you get past. And the answer to that, it's almost, it's Fernando Alonso. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. She's up into 10th position and we haven't even completed the first lap. 19th to 10th for Carmen Jordan. Oh my goodness gracious, bloody good God. So our next target is Felipe Massa, baby, and of course the Williams car. So let's see as we go through the gorgeous 130R complex section. Let's see if Carmen Jorda can actually catch up. Well, she's a little bit far behind Felipe Massa, as you can see. There's two cars battling behind her, as you can also see. It's Fernando Alonso. Oh my goodness, Fernando was gets pushed off there. So we're just about to complete lap one now, and she has managed to catch up. A little bit closer now to the back of Felipe Massa as we complete lap one and go into lap two of this 
Grand Prix. Still 10th for Jordan, 11th for Magnussen and 9th for Felipe Massa as we accelerate forward now to a little bit further into lap 2 as you can see there's Felipe Massa as he gets very very close to the end of his gearbox there almost crashes into the back of Felipe Massa very very late on the brakes there for Carmen Jordan but she's still holding on to 10th position at the moment and of course there's quite a few cars ahead of us so hopefully we should get some good points for Carmen here if she can get past there's uh, Maxi Boy Verstappen and of course his teammate Daniel Ricciardo as we accelerate forward out to lap 2 just not going to the end of lap 2 now Let's see if she can now do a dive on Felipe Massa. Yes, she fakes a move down the inside on Felipe Massa. Oh, my goodness. She's taken out the cones, though. She's taken out the cones as Lewis Hamilton puts in her fastest lap, but she gets past. Now, it's a ninth position for Carmen Jordan. As we're just about to go into lap three as the DRS has been enabled. And here's Maxi Boy Verstappen. Oh, is he going to... Oh, look at that. He did a fake move trying to block off Carmen Jordan there. But Carmen Jordan's a wily old fox. And she's having none of it, don't you know, don't you know. As we accelerate forward now to lap three, a little bit further to lap three. Still trying to get past Maxi Boy Verstappen. And oh, is she going to do a dive, is she? Yes, she does. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Both the Red Bulls. Both the Red Bulls. But it's contact with the Honey Badger, Daniel Ricciardo. But she gets through. Wowzers, and there's a response from Carmen Jolly. Yes, she says that was great. Yes, it was indeed, Carmen. Two Red Bulls in one corner. Fantastic. Okay, her next target now is Nico Hulkenberg in the Renault. And there's a car slow. Oh my goodness, look at this. Lulu, the blessed one, he's off. Lewis Hamilton is off. And we've got the virtual safety car. Slow down, Carmen, slow down. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. So we have our first virtual safety car of this race on lap four as you can see her next target is of course Hulkenberg ahead but of course she can't go past him because we're under safety car conditions as we accelerate forward now a little bit further to lap four the safety car so I say the virtual safety car has now got in so it's time for Carmen Jordan to go racing again and she's trying to give it the full beads as she goes down the inside of Nico Hulkenberg oh very very late though does she get through yes she does well so now up into fifth position for Carmen Jordan on lap four of this Grand Prix and she's now got Roman Grosjean directly in front of her in fourth position. We accelerate forward now to lap five and there still is Roman Grosjean in of course the Husk car she doesn't dive down inside very very late on the brakes for Carmen Jordan but once again she gets past and she's up there to fourth position. Wowzers absolutely incredible scenes in Japan for Carmen Jordan 19th position on the grid already up into fourth place as we go forward at lap seven yes nothing else is really happening in the Grand Prix but there is certainly going to be some excitement now because it is raining out on the circuit oh my goodness yes it is full cars we've got light rain and then heavy rain towards the end of the race and the light rain is coming down now this is really going to throw a spanner in the works for this Grand Prix as we go forward out to the end of lap seven just going past the pits there's a couple of cars in already Oh my goodness, Sir Carmen Jordan there goes up to the second place, second position for Carmen Jordan on lap 8 out of 27. Kimi Raikkonen is now in the lead of this Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas in the Mercedes is behind her in third place as we go forward out lap 8. And the DRS has been disabled, which means that it's time to change tyres. And there's Stoffel van Doon going very, very slowly around the circuit there, as you can see. But anyway, Carmen Jordan's going to have to come in now for the intermediate tyres. And oh, Jesus Christ, though. No. It's an old shit from Carmen Jordan. She almost loses it. It's very, very slippery out there for these dry tyres now. So she, it's a good call that she comes in right now for these intermediate tyres. And look, she's got a Mercedes right behind her. That must be Valtteri Bottas. I do think it is anyway. So in she comes. Changes from the super soft tyre onto the intermediate. And she's getting held for the Mercedes. Oh my goodness gracious. No. Once again, the pit stops have screwed us. And Carmen Jordan is now behind the Mercedes. But where is she going to rejoin? She's oh, she's in fourth position. Jolly off Palmer's in fifth place. No, now it's Felipe Massa. Oh, it's all changing. It's all changing as they're coming in for their pit stops on lap nine out of 27. And Jordan's up into fourth position now as she rejoins behind Valtteri Bottas. As we go forward out to the end of lap nine, there's another car coming in. I think that's Carlos Sainz. Well, he must be coming in because he's on the medium tyre. So he's got to change onto intermediates as well. So yes, Carmen Jordan now goes into third place. Yes, a podium once again for the first lady of motorsport. As we accelerate forward now. Oh my goodness, Stoffel van Doon's going very, very slowly. Very, very slowly indeed round the circuit. But Carmen managed to get past him. And she's still in third place. Oh no, another virtual safety car. Yes, and Carmen says again? Again? I know, Carmen. I know it's ridiculous. This is the second one. Anyway, virtual safety car is now over. Once again, it's time to return to racing speed as Carmen Jordan continues on 
in third place at the moment, trying to catch Valtteri Bottas as we accelerate for another lap 18. And look at this, Sebastian Vettel tried for a move down the outside of Carmen's shoulder. He was trying to get inside Carmen there, but he couldn't quite pull it off. And so he went straight off into the gravelly bits. Yes, yeah, straight off into the gravelly bits for Sebastian Vettel. So Carmen Jorda holds on to her third place and he's dropped right back as Sebastian Vettel has been... So oh, no, no, I don't believe it. Yes, because Carmi, what the hell? It's another virtual safety car on lap 19 now out of 27. So she's just going to hold on. And now the virtual safety car is now ending. It wasn't out for very, very long at all. And we can now return to racing speed on lap 19 still in third place for Jordan about to be potassed in second place as we accelerate forward out lap 21 and we've got a very very slow car it's Lewis Hamilton it's Lulu and he's got a puncher oh my goodness it's all going from bad to bloody worse for the blessed one himself and it looks like he's not going to score any points in this race whatsoever because he's limping around now with a puncher on his car okay we accelerate forward out lap 20 oh no now the safety car's been deployed yes come in Carmen come in quickly 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 we're going to change very very quickly onto the full wet tyres because it seems to be absolutely chucking down with rain now absolutely chucking down with rain so we change from the intermediates onto the blue sidewall tyre which of course is the full wet tyre under the safety car which means none of the cars can actually go past well they can if they're going down the start and finish line but as you can see from the mini map there are no cars coming down at the moment so Carmen Jordan is going to rejoin in third position but it's time now to catch the safety car queue. Oh god, because I have a funny, sneaky suspicion that what's been happening so far in this race, that the safety car is broken again. And there is the safety car. Oh Jesus, Carmen Jordan will smack straight to the back of the safety car. And Carmen says, wow, yes, where was the message saying you could overtake the safety car, Carmen? That's absolutely unbelievable. Someone called Charlie White and kill them, Charlie, kill them! Anyway, we saw a fall down lap 25 and Oh my goodness gracious, bloody good gold. As I expected, the safety car is broken once again. Yes, Carmen Jordan has been unable to catch the back of the safety car queue. If you look at the mini map, you can see that her big yellow dot still hasn't caught up to the back of the safety car. We've been going around for about two or three laps now. And the cars are just, they're just all over the place. Yes, the safety car once again is completely broken. And it's coming in now, so Carmen's got no chance of catching it. Well, she might do actually if she manages to maintain full speed through this 130R complex and catch up to the back of the cars. It's going to be very, very dicey there. Where are they? Where? There they are. There they are. And she is going to catch up to the back of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. What the fuck's going on here? We've got Stoffel Van Doon now, a back marker. This is going to hold up Carmen Jordan. There's Valtteri Bottas. There's her second place, but it's going to be no good because she's got to get past Van Doon at the moment. And he blocks her. Oh, my goodness. What the hell is he doing? Anyway, she gets past Stoffel Van Doon. And now we've got Roman Grosjean uh, holding him up as well. This is going to be disaster. He's going very, very wide, is Roman. And now he pulls back in again. What the hell is this sponge doing? Anyway, still in third place for Carmen Jordan, but I don't think she's got any chance now of catching Valtteri Bottas in the all-powerful, almighty Mercedes on lap 26. As we accelerate forward now to lap 27, it's the last lap of the race, and it looks like Carmen Jordan is going to finish in third place. The car behind her is actually a back marker, as you can see from the fact that it's gone blue because it's getting blue flags, so she's got no problems. She's got Jolly Off Palmer behind her in fourth place, but I expect he's probably about... Uh, two laps behind her to be honest but anyway Kimi Raikkonen has won the race and Carmen Jordan comes in third place yes says Carmi good result yes well done Carmen well done indeedy third place fantastic well that was a little bit of a mixed bag of a race I have to say but it all turned out pretty good in the end and there he is there's a Riccio Benatore Spaghettio when your Domio day congratulating his team there he is yes and there is Kimi Raikkonen on the top step of the podium or when he gets up there in a minute anyway and there's Carmen Jordan in the background and yes the team mechanics are congratulating each other like they always do yes well done lads well done indeed and there is Kevin Magnussen who finished very very well in the Husqvar so on to the podium celebrations now and there she is everyone Carmen Jordan third place in the race Kimi Raikkonen won the race and Valtteri Bottas got second place as Kimi holds the trophy up high wowzers absolute wowzers there for Kimi Raikkonen and the champagne spraying goes over everyone oh what's the cameraman Kimi those cameras are expensive you know 
He doesn't really care, does he? He'll just buy them a new one, let's face it. It's not like he shot one a few bob, is it? Anyway, there you, they go. On the podium. So, third place, 15 points for Carmen Jordi. Kimi Raikkonen uh, won the race with 25 points, of course. And Esteban Ocon finishing 17th place with no World Championship points. And the standings now, she's now 31 points behind the leader, which now is Kimi Raikkonen. Oh my goodness, plenty of time for her to catch up, though. There's still quite a few races left. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. There will, of course, be more later.